Contrary to some recent Anglican documents which speak of the Anglican communion as held together by bonds of affection or by good manners, the Jerusalem Declaration declares roundly that Anglicans should be defined rather by their adherence to a common faith, devout ways of worship, and a biblically based approach to the many moral questions confronting Christians in today's world. Anglicans have always claimed that their beliefs are not novel, but that they believe what all Christians have believed everywhere and at all times. The basis for such faith remains the supreme authority of the Holy Scriptures, the teachings of the ecumenical councils, and the Anglican formularies. Anglican views of ordained ministry are rooted in the ordinal attached to the Book of Common Prayer which recognizes that Anglican ministry is a continuation of the ministry of bishops, priests and deacons in the undivided church. Anglicans continue to confess the faith of the church down the ages and seek to witness to this faith so that many can be brought to trust in Christ. As far as possible, they seek to do this alongside other Christians. They know also that God has a providential care for the whole of society and seek to work for social justice, again with all others of goodwill pursuing similar goals. Like all Christians, they await the coming of Christ as King and the fulfillment of the Kingdom of God in a renewed humanity and a transformed world. The Jerusalem Declaration is a rallying point for all Anglicans who wish to celebrate their heritage and to remain faithful to it as a basis for their witness and work in the world. Mm-hmm.